ancestral I communication. I have a question about how to communicate with my world, about mm. how to share what I want to with the world for abundance and joy. Okay. Can I? Hey, Abigail, will you, are you down to request to go live with me at, right now and talk a little bit about that, like, what, uh, just a little more in detail what you're wanting to talk about? Hi! Hi. Welcome. Hi. So, uh, give us a little more detail about your question. I wish I could pour you a cup of tea, but I can't. She's good. Ah! She's good. You're all set. <laughs> What are you drinking? I was also pouring tea, so this worked out great. Um, okay, so the question, I guess it was kind of like a scattered way that I phrased the question, but um, so my question that's been coming up is, I want to manifest abundance, but I have fear around sharing what I want to do for the world with my world. And I guess belief systems that I had built up around people not valuing me or not valuing my services and be it around the, the massage that I do or the energetic work I do or the leather work I do, or even the tea that I do now with the San Antonio tea scene that I'm, I'm working on creating. Um, just how do I communicate with my world better about what I do for what I can do for them and like I guess being less shameless about sharing what I do to make abundance and to make everyone everyone happy and totally yeah. cool <laughs> okay I think I get it um I think we're still gonna play the emoji game because I'm gonna I'm gonna try and expand this a little bit to be relevant for all of us but I think it should still answer your question well, it's interesting that you bring it up because um, honestly, when you started talking, like I've recently talked to several people who have a lot of anxiety and self-consciousness about sharing like their strengths and their their beliefs and different things like that. And so I think that like figuring out how to um, fit both into the world and of your own self, like like managing those two sides of your relationship, both like your relationship to self and relationship to your your community so that you can like hold these things as true and embrace your power and like share, share mm -hmm. out and receive without spilling your cups. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hearing also the struggle of trying to fit into, Thank you, Erica. fit into the world and also shape the world and mm -hmm. transform the world at the same time. And it's like you, what there's who, who was it? I think it was Evie White maybe that said, I awake in the morning torn between a desire to appreciate yeah. the world and a desire to fix it. Mm -hmm. This makes it hard to plan the day. Mm. Um, that's not like exactly the quote, but there's also a good essay by GK Chesterton that has to do with some of that stuff. Anyway, um, let's draw some cards. Yeah. So, so about kind of, I guess, standing in our own, standing in the value of the services and the work that we provide so that we can, present that effectively and communicate that effectively to others does that feel about right yeah okay the, what do you want to pick the emoji oh um how about a cup of tea oh okay so that's the one with the little green liquid in it it's yeah Kabe. yeah if you and yeah. we see the cup of tea emoji, I will stop. Uh, Either a cup of tea or this a bowl of soup. This is so exciting. Are we reading reversals? I didn't. Do you read reversals? I normally do. Hey, Laura. So we <laughs> got the five of coins reversed. We've got the character holding a bird. And sitting on five. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. I just, I'm just excited. Okay. <clears throat> five of coins. Five of coins represents a time of instability, fear, loss, poverty, isolation. Especially if you're in Peony's rendition, there is great hope. Because compassion exists beyond all struggles of the material world. In spite of any lack in the material, we can always find ways to compensate in the emotional spiritual rest. We care for one another and that's 
counts for the greatest riches in all the world. It may be that you feel worthless, unwanted, shunned, rejected, or injured by the world at large. This card especially relates to oppression on a socio-political scale, to issues of racism, classism, homophobia, transphobia, misogyny, and so forth. But even amidst our trials and suffering, there's a glimmer of hope, just as was uncovered at the bottom of Pandora's box, and that hope is basic kindness. Because there are always people who want to help. It is just a matter of finding them. Do your best to get your material world affairs in order, but let others help because they want to. Let me, let me do a reversal because it's good. No need to be so stoic. No one in this world is alone, not even you. Five of coins reversed is the one of the biggest indicators to me that a person may be falling into isolationist self-pity and the idea that no one wants them, no one loves them, no one needs them. This could not be further from the truth. It is essential to understand that there is a reason you were born. There is a special story only you can tell, and your job now is to get out there and tell it. So that's pretty straightforward, I think. That's extremely straightforward. <laughs> right? And it's funny, that's like not the first thing that I would have thought of for the Five yeah. of Pentacles, but that is like the first thing that I wanted to tell you. And I, as, <laughs> when I read cards, I have to stop myself. And because I, when people ask me questions, I just want to, like, especially when you ask a question like that, like, how do I trust that my service is valuable or whatever? I just want to come at you like, it is, it's so valuable. It's been so valuable to me, but it's like, I know that you're not coming to me for an answer. You're coming to the cards for an answer, but it's like a nice little cosmic giggle when uh, the cards give the same answer that I wanted to give. <laughs> yeah. Well, you and the cards are in the same place. So you guys are teaming up. <laughs> but yeah, I would say like, look for, because it's all around you. And if you're looking for it, you're way more likely to see it. Look for reasons to believe that the work that you do is important. And when you look for those reasons, you'll, you'll see them because they're all around you. And I mean, well, also here you are. <laughs> I also, I also feel like one of the things that keeps talking, like the, the book, which is what like o Olivia Pepper wrote the book. Mm, um, mm -hmm. So what, what, what I feel like it's saying is that like, you're doing the right thing to figure that out. Like talk, talking to people and, mm -hmm. and finding a community and a network. And like, you don't have to manifest this belief in yourself from yourself. Like it's hard. It's really hard to be like, yes, yeah. I'm going to like look into myself and believe and be strong. And like, I know the things and like, it's okay to turn to your friends and be like, Hey guys, like, am I good? Like, am I set? And I know for a fact that you have like an, an onslaught of people who will like come out of the woodwork to be like, yes, Abigail, you are good. You are doing amazing things. And it's, and it's okay to lean on that connection. Mm -hmm. Like you, you don't not, I would say not only I have this okay. thing about being codependent and I don't want to be codependent because I understand what co-empowerment feels like and code interdependency within tribe instead of codependency. So I know the difference, but there's still this like internal thing of, I don't want, is that codependent? I don't want to be, I don't want to be codependent. Um, so thank you, Erica, for saying that. Cause that's like a fear thing. I think that's what this card is telling me. It's been like, uh, it, it's just a fear thing to, to admit to people how I'm truly feeling about things. And Yeah. Mm. No need to be so stoic, Abigail. No need to be so stoic. Well, and I uh, kind of yeah. in with what we're saying a minute ago, Erica, I feel like not only is it okay to check in with the people around you to make sure that what you're doing is valuable and important, but it, it's also absolutely necessary. And, but it's, it's as a prerequisite to that, it's absolutely necessary to have a network that you trust. Yeah, we're social creatures. And if, if you want to know if the work that you want to do, that you are called to do, could be of value to other people, you have to ask other people. Or you have to, I think actually asking other people is often not very effective because a lot of people don't know what they want or what they need, but they'll they'll still be attracted to it. And they'll like they'll recognize it subconsciously before they'll recognize it consciously or verbally and so you might say this is what i want to do and you know however you're describing it like you don't have the common vocabulary to even relate over it but if you i mean a personal example is like i felt like i was like waiting 
to do something like morning ritual until I felt like there were enough people who would be interested or, mm. until, but it's like, well, well, no, you start doing it and then, you know, people won't know what it is that you're going to offer until you're offering it. And when you're doing it, they see the magic and they want to be a part of it. And, you know, now I'm just, if you build it, they will come. And, you know, if you build it and they don't come, then maybe you're doing something wrong. Well, and <laughs> Or maybe you're just not communicating about it enough. Yeah, I have to put myself out there first before I say that it's not a thing. Do you feel like that totally, like, addresses the question that you kind of came to this with? That nailed it. I mean, five of, five of pentacles, yeah. Cool. But thank you thank so you much for letting for me it. hop on. This was yeah. Fun. Thank you for joining us and thank you for bringing your question to the table. I feel like that was really important to get this, to get this going. And uh, I really appreciate that perspective that you brought. Yay. Yay. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Okay. Love you. See you later. Hooray. Wow. Well, that was really cool. Yeah, it was. Thank you guys so much for watching and for joining me on this journey. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Please also let me know in the comments below what you thought and stick around for more. Turn on the notifications bell if you want to make sure that you know when I post my next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out the links below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!